If you are planning your Bhutan trip and looking for some hotel recommendations, you are at the right place. We have just completed our week long trip to Bhutan and I am about to share some tips for choosing the perfect stay as well as tell you about the hotels where we stayed. Tip number 1. How far is the hotel from the key attractions or the city centre? Bhutan is a small landlocked country which is not densely populated. So the number of hotels or homestays is limited but you can still find hotels from budget to luxury category. As a guest, you are required to book 3 star properties and above. And the usual rule is that nearer you are to the city centre, the more you pay for the rooms. My recommendation here would be in prime cities like Thimphu or Paro, you can select a hotel near the city centre, which will help you in enjoying the activities and nightlife without depending on your guide or driver. You can simply walk around and have a lot of fun. Tip number 2. Hotel amenities and facilities. Now this varies from person to person. The general guideline would be to look for clean and spacious rooms, good ventilation, clean washroom, 24 bar 7 hot water, twin or standard beds, Wi-Fi availability, in-room tea or coffee maker, in-house restaurant and of course the views. In Bhutan, usually every hotel provides free Wi-Fi in the rooms. Also, in-house restaurant is helpful because after a long day, if you don't want to venture out again for dinner, you can have a relaxed dinner at the hotel. Tip number 3. Reviews I cannot emphasize how important this point is. The tour operators would give you some hotels which are in their usual list. Now you need to use your own discretion to decide whether it aligns to your requirements or not. And to do that, instead of just depending on the tour operator, do your own research. So look at the reviews in TripAdvisor or Google to check the feedback. Also, if you see most reviews are from Indian tourists, then most of the times these are the hotels where tour operators would send Indian tourists in bulk. I would rather recommend you select a hotel which has balanced reviews from both Indian and non-Indians. Tip number 4. Price and Budget Considerations The reviews will help you understand whether the price you are paying will justify the experience or not. I personally don't mind paying a little more if I get value for my money. Tip number 5. Food I am a big foodie, so this is one of the aspects I do check for any hotel I book. Ask your tour operator to include breakfast and dinner in your package. Especially if you are staying away from the city centre where you won't find any good restaurants around. Hotels where Indians stay in bulk would have more Indian food options than continental or local Bhutanese food. Hotels which are more preferred by non-Indians would have a balance of local, Indian and continental choices. Some hotels would also include additional food items based on demand that particular day. Usually hotels provide buffet with set menu for guests who have food included in their packages. Now I will talk about where we stayed in Bhutan. We covered three cities in six days and two days each we stayed at one place. Our first stop was Thimphu. Hotel Gekil is a 40 room 3 star property located in the heart of Bhutan's capital town Thimphu. This central location provides easy access to major attractions such as the Tashi Chozong the National Memorial Chorten and the bustling weekend market. The hotel's strategic placement also means that the guests are within the walking distance of numerous restaurants, cafes and shops, making it an ideal place for exploring the city. The rooms are designed with comfort and simplicity in mind, featuring warm wooden furnishings 
large windows and modern amenities such as free Wi-Fi, flat screen TVs and ensuite bathrooms. We could see the clock tower and the football ground from our room. The staff here is friendly and attentive. We had a Wi-Fi issue at 10 p.m. and they were prompt to resolve it. They also specifically arranged Bhutanese dinner for us on request. The restaurant serves delicious Indian food, but the breakfast menu is limited. There is a Bengali chef at the hotel who customizes the food as per your preference. On day two, we were the only boarders and they still arranged a great Bhutanese dinner for us. I would like to give this hotel a 4 out of 5 based on purely the location and the stay quality. Our next destination is Punakha. This was the highlight of all my stays in Bhutan. In fact, Dumra Farm Resort is one of those places where you leave a portion of your heart behind. Dumra Farm Resort is situated on the top of a hill overlooking the beautiful Punakha Zong. Once you enter the narrow approach road, you might start wondering whether you are headed to the right place while you navigate through the steep incline and a bumpy path for about 10 minutes. But once you reach, you are in for a grand treat. The all woman staff will be waiting for you to give you a royal welcome. You definitely need a car to reach the resort as it's a pretty long drive from the main road. Even if it is called a farm resort, the rooms are very large, modern, well-appointed and aesthetically furnished. The in-room amenities include a work desk, tea or coffee station, mini refrigerator, wardrobe, slippers, sofa and a tea table, fan and heater. The modern, well-equipped bathroom is elegantly designed. The sleek, minimalistic design features, clean lines and high quality materials creates an atmosphere of luxury and sophistication. While the use of natural materials like stone and wood add a touch of organic warmth. The all-female hotel staff at Dhumra are nothing short of amazing. Their attention to detail and ability to anticipate guests' need set them apart. Always one step ahead, they ensure that every aspect of your stay is seamless and enjoyable. Whether assisting with luggage, providing food recommendations or arranging special requests, their helpful and proactive approach makes every guest feel truly cared for. This exceptional team embodies the essence of outstanding service and hospitality, leaving a lasting impression on all who visit. Food ingredients are sourced directly from the property's organic garden or farm. The cuisine is presented well and is of very high quality, equivalent to that of many 5-star hotels. Each meal was like a revelation of what could be done with the fresh fruits and vegetables from the garden. I would like to give this place a 7 out of 5 or more. This quaint picture postcard like farm resort is like a tiny paradise atop a hill. Its loving hosts Sange and Rinzi have ensured this place will make you immediately feel at home and leave you with an impression of Bhutan which lives up to its reputation of being the happiest country in Asia. And our last destination is Paro. The historic Ulatham Hotel was established in 1974 for guests invited to the coronation of the fourth king of Bhutan, His Majesty Jigme Singhe Wangchuk. The 23-acre property set amidst pine trees and apple orchards is located 5 km from Paro International Airport overlooking the beautiful and scenic Paro Valley. This serene retreat features 12 distinct cottages, each designed in traditional Bhutanese architecture, blending classic decor with modern comforts. Each cottage is thoughtfully situated across a sprawling landscape 
ensuring privacy and a unique experience. Among the facilities are a desk, a balcony with Paro Valley view, a private bathroom, dressing table, a flat screen TV and sofas, bed linen and toiletries, tea coffee station, free Wi-Fi and room service. The staff at the reception is helpful, but I felt the warmth and personal attention was missing as it's a big hotel. In comparison, the restaurant and the housekeeping staff were more welcoming. You will get prompt service at the hotel. The in-room service is also good. Food is served as a buffet in the restaurant. On day one, when there were more guests, the food at the buffet had more options in both continental and Indian. However, on day 2, when there were less guests, the food options were considerably limited and also there were no separate Indian food. However, they did make some dal just for us. Breakfast had limited options and the taste or the freshness left much to be desired. I would like to give the place a 4 out of 5. Purely based on the natural beauty of the property, the traditional vibe of the cottages and the view of Paro town from the balcony of the roofs. Taking away a point based on the food and hospitality experience. In summary, ideal for travelers seeking a peaceful haven tucked away in the lap of nature and far away from the touristy crowd. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope this information helps you in deciding the hotels. See you soon.